So hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. This channel is hitting kind of a milestone today. This is the 100th video that I've posted. Now, here's a disclaimer. I don't consider YouTube Shorts videos because they don't take very much to make. It takes 15 to seconds to one minute. You edit just a little bit on the app and then you push upload. As, to me, that's not really a video per se, but who am I to argue with YouTube? If YouTube says it counts as your video count, then so be it. But this is the 100th episode according to YouTube. So I want to do something special. First, I want to acknowledge that fact. So this is the very first video that I started with, which here's a secret. We now have breaking news. I don't like it. I do not like my intro video at all. And leave a comment down below if y'all think I should redo the intro video. Because I kind of think I do, but I'm kind of on the fence also. But I don't like it. But let's keep it real. So here's a little bit of that video. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Down Home Backyard Gardening. This intro is going to be really short and to the point. This is going to be a channel produced by a beginner gardener for beginner gardeners. Okay, so enough of that video. Let's get on to something that was really fun to do and is actually my highest viewed video to date, which is this one. Today is a project day. It is time to knock out a big project. As you can see, I've already taken out the fire pit and I brought all 30 cinder blocks back. And I'm a bald dude, so <laughs> no sunburn on this head. Okay, so that's it. Got it done. Now, this side is just a little crooked. Not much. It's enough for me to notice, but I mean, does it really matter? Not really. As long as it's in a decent shape and you're happy with it, then you're good. Okay, so that video took me two days to make, about an hour combined between the two days, and I thought it was going to kill me. The heat and humidity was insane that day. But that's just part of the journey. Now, let's check out where my passion really is for this channel with a, with a, a few of these videos right here. Hey everybody, I am super excited to do this video today. I've been wanting to do this one since December. December or November of last year, or November, December of last year, and I'm going to do the single seed challenge. All right, hey, today's the day. Today is the day we're doing the single seed challenge 2022 right here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. I've been excited for this and I'm ready to rock and roll. How about you guys? Let's do it. Okay, so let, let's start off with this. What is the single seed challenge? Okay, so it's no secret that I love the single seed challenge. I did it last year in 2021, I'm doing it again this year in 2022, which if y'all have been following this channel for any length of time, by now you know how much I love that challenge and I love everything to do with that challenge. So having said that with, with the challenge, and honestly the challenge was the reason I actually started this channel because I wanted to do the single seat challenge. So now let's fast forward to this video. Or there is a method where you lay the sweet potato down in like a potting mix, half lay the potato, sweet potato down, half covered. This has taken three weeks to get to this point. And I'm excited, look, I just noticed all these down here at the bottom that are growing. <laughs> um. So that was the last video, the 99th video, which was the sweet potato slips in the soil. And they're right there. I want to give a heartfelt thank you to everyone who's watching this video right here, who's been watching from day one, or has been watching since yesterday, it doesn't matter. I want to thank everybody for following this channel. It means a lot when I'm getting comments down below. We've got viewers from the United Kingdom, we have viewers from Colombia, uh, you know, the country, Colombia. <laughs> Um, and all across the United States, all in this area. So I want to thank you all 
person, I mean, I, if I could personally thank everyone, I would. But just know that your you all subscribing, uh, your all support just motivates me to get out and keep producing content that I'm proud about. And I'm getting better at the editing. I'm getting better at adding stuff. I'm getting more creative in doing the videos, which if you could tell from that very first one to this one, <laughs> uh, doing a lot better at, at making the content funner, uh, more my personality. I feel I'm coming out more in front of the camera. I actually enjoy this a lot. I love being in front of this camera, talking to you all, uh, interacting with you all through the comment section on each of the videos. And, uh, I'm just, I look forward to continuing. So, uh, one last time, thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel, showing me support, uh, helping me get honestly to this milestone. Now this is just a personal milestone for the channel, that it's nothing big or anything, but to me that's a big deal. It's a, it's a hundred episodes. I, I just started last April. So, uh, it's time to change up this video and do a dedication. So I will be right back. All right, so I know what you're thinking. What in the world am I doing watching a gardening channel with a dude in a shirt and tie? I know. This is a special episode. And I wanna dedicate this episode to a very, very special woman in my heart, in my life. And that is my grandmother, my mom's mom, my maternal grandmother, Phyllis Grace Dawnball. Okay, so let me ask you all a really important question here. Uh, how many of you all watching this channel right now and still watching this video at this point can trace back to the person, the influence, or the reason that, you're, that you are gardening? Good question, right? For me, it's my grandmother. Now, I can remember uh, being just a little boy in Kentucky, because that's where I'm from originally, uh, running around in the backyard with our family dog. Her name was Sugar. And uh, my grandmother had this little tiny, probably 10 by six, eight foot little garden. but could she grow some cucumbers or green beans or pretty much anything she put in the ground uh, she could grow and I spent a lot of time with her growing up um, we lost her in the early 90s but I've, I got good quality years from my grandmother and her memory is alive in my mind and in this garden in this backyard I put on this shirt and tie to honor my grandmother. Since this part of the video is dedicated to her, I felt it appropriate to wear this for her. I spent tons and tons of time with her. You know, to this day, I can't see a robin or a cardinal and honestly not think of my grandmother. I can't really walk in the backyard and do gardening stuff without seeing my grandmother. So for everyone who can relate to what I'm saying here, to the emotion, to the sentiment, to those beautiful memories that you have as a child, you all know the, the, the heartfelt just love for your person. Since this is the 100th episode, I thought it was appropriate at this point to do a dedication video to my grandmother. I actually wanted to do this at the very beginning, but I didn't feel I had, I didn't feel it was appropriate time yet. And I didn't feel that I had the correct, um, I didn't have the skills to really pull off a video that I hope will do her justice and make her proud, which I know, she, I know she's proud. I'm sure if she walked in this backyard, she'd be beaming. So now I'm gonna play a video from 1981. Yes, <laughs> 1981. I believe I was four. And I'm not gonna have all the dialogue in it. And I'm gonna cut up the video. 
throughout to focus mainly on her and me interacting in the backyard or me just being a goofy little four-year-old kid running around scared to death of the camera that my grandfather was holding because it was a huge one you know 81 wasn't a cell phone you know big old huge cameras and they freaked me out which I'm sure they did a lot of people back then because it was new so I'm gonna let this play there is one line that she says that I've never been able to get out of my head. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. And she was referring to all the vegetables that she was harvesting. Um, that has always stuck with me. It's something that's a very powerful statement uh, to me. And I wanted to share this with everyone. Because if you're watching this video at, by this point of the video, then you're truly someone who's watching and following this channel for the right reasons. And I want to thank you all by letting you behind the curtain a little bit of just who I am, a little bit into the background of me and why I'm doing this and what motivates me to come out here and spend all this time and effort and uh, pain, as y'all saw in the blueberry video, and um, to do this. It's a passion, it's a love, it's from my heart. I might not always show it in my face, but <laughs> the, the, the love for this is there. So sit back, enjoy this part of the video. It is an original video from 81, so there's no special effects in it. All the crazy, all the crazy video stuff that's in it, you know, the, the old looking kind of video is real. It's all real. I'm going to overlay it, though, with a song that I believe was her favorite song. At least when I think of my grandmother, that's the song that I hear playing. So I uh, hope you all enjoy this. Okay, so <laughs> y'all got to see me, little four-year-old kiddo running all over the place, being goofy. You saw my beautiful grandmother there down in her garden. That was, she loved that garden. She absolutely loved that garden. And she had another one up by the house, but the one down in the corner of that backyard is the one that was her, that was her little, her little garden. And it produced food like you would not believe. I wanna thank everyone again for being on this journey with me. Every day that I come out to produce a video or to film anything, I'm constantly thinking of what I would wanna see if I was sitting where you all are because we've all sat in that seat. I started watching YouTube um, about two years ago, honestly watching YouTube about two years ago 
and I started with deer meat for dinner. Rob, I love you, man. Uh, love that dude. Awesome. And then as far as gardening stuff, in my gardener, Luke up in Michigan, Brian out in California, next level gardening. Uh, James, James Pigi I can never say his last name, Prigioni up in New Jersey, uh, the gardening channel. And then of course, uh, Scott Head over on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening, which is no secret if you watch this channel that I follow him a lot. And now I'm on this, now I'm on this crazy journey of YouTube and I'm loving it. I love it. I'm thinking of videos all the time. I'm thinking of ideas all the time. And I hope it's coming across. I spend a lot of time doing the editing and learning all that. That is a part that a lot of people don't focus on. Um, but it's an important part of YouTube. So, Everyone, I'm going to finish this episode with a very heartfelt thank you once again. And um, I'm not going to do the usual ending. You all know the drill. Subscribe, like, share, Facebook, Instagram, shine bright and harvest hard. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And here's to a great spring. If you're not already growing, get your seeds in the ground and start growing. Bye. Size of that one. Got a little hair on the bottom. Look, look, I don't see. There's two more over there. Oh, I just love you a lot.